Hey guys, Jim with CF Toolbox, and today we're going to take a look at creating a spreadsheet using Cold Fusion. First, let's start with taking a look at uh, the spreadsheet itself. What are we trying to accomplish? Uh, first, take a look at uh, row number one. It is a merged cell, uh, bolded text, black background, white text. Then we have all, some columns. So. In this particular spreadsheet, we have a number of companies who have budgets for projects. So in the first column, we want the company name. The second column, we want the project number. And then going across, we want how much they have budgeted for either a particular month or if it's a whole year budget and what the total is expected. The real power of this comes in at the bottom. Down at the bottom we have our total amounts for each column. Now as you take a look at this, and let's get off this drawing tool here, inside of those cells it's actually written the command sum E3 through E52 over here. K3 through K52. So that's the trick here is to make a true spreadsheet and just not a CSV file. And let's uh, take a look at how we do that. First, let's just start with our, our SQL statement. And our SQL statement is going to be one that goes and gets all the rows that we're going to place onto our spreadsheet. You know, our, our company name and the uh, project number and all those amounts that we're going from left to right. Once we get that uh, SQL statement the way we want, we can actually start writing some structures that will give commands to the spreadsheet. So our first command is going to be for that top header row. It's going to be to merge the cells, put in the black background, white text, all that good stuff. Second row will be all those column headings. Uh, the firm, the project number, the month name, etc. And then Finally, we want to create a structure for the bottom row. Um, that will be where our total go. Notice too that in CS Spreadsheet, you have the ability to interject some formats into your uh, object. So as you create your spreadsheet object, which is on row 75, now you can start writing the rows. So here's the first set, first row, second row, and now, if we get down to the third row, we actually just take our output from our SQL statement and we'll create those rows. Now, here comes the magic. We can actually start interjecting formulas into our spreadsheets. So, of course, we had the first two rows. So, we're going to start this data set on row number three. And then the end row is the number of rows that came back from our SQL statement. And we're actually going to write those sum commands in there. Going to take those sum commands and place them into our objects, and then underneath that, we're going to take those objects and format them accordingly. So, a quick review those sum commands you can use average, you can use whatever commands you can place into an Excel cell, you can write and then place into the cells into your object ready to be written. So once you have everything done, you just use your CF spreadsheet command, tell it to write, put your object name in there, where you want it written to in the file name. And then finally, uh, this is just for my customers, we take the output, slap some HTML around it, and then give them the ability to download the file immediately or it can be available for downloading at a later time. So that's it. Here's uh, what the uh, HTML looks like on the output. And I appreciate everybody's time. I hope you found this somewhat helpful. Uh, if you'd like to see other cold fusion tips and tricks or anything like that, subscribe, send me a note. Once again, thank you. 
I'm Jim. Have a great day.